Peace, family. Y'all know what it is, man. Welcome back to the channel, man. Uh, if this is your first time, do me the favor of hitting that subscription icon. Also, do not forget to hit the post notification bell and select all. That way you will be notified every time we go live or every time we upload a video on this platform. If anything I say to you or say during this reading resonates with your situation in any way, form, or fashion, man, donate to the channel, man. We're trying to grow this channel, man, and get it to, you know, <clears throat> a nice little spot. Okay, and you could do so by leaving super stickers. All donations will go back to the growth of the channel. All right. Uh, excuse me, I'm a little stuffy. If you are looking for a read, man, go down below, leave a, a message um, in my email with your name, your number, and the best time to reach out to you, man. Also, make sure you have PayPal set up. Y'all know it's a crisis going on with a cash app. That's another story in itself. But talk to me, Spirit. What is it that the collective needs to know? What is it that the collective needs to know <clears throat> on this fine day? Grand rising, too, to y'all, man. Grand rising. Yeah, right. rising power. Talk to me, Spirit. What the collective needs to know today, man? Huh? Okay. Yeah. Your words are powerful, man. <clears throat> Somebody needs to know your words are powerful. Whoever you are, you most definitely need to be making sure that you're speaking uh, positive affirmations every day. You need to make sure that you're speaking things into existence, that you're confident uh, about it, that you're an authority. You know, you need to be wise with your words is what I'm getting. You have to understand it's going to be your words that's going to ground you in life. Okay? And then you want to speak like... Bro, when you speak, you want to th speak <clears throat> things from your spirit. And if you somebody that's like really into some type of other religion, man, you want to make sure that you're speaking like positive words, man. That's a big fact. You could be somebody that's most definitely uh, speaking. You could mention be a speaker. Somebody could probably be like uh, doing some form of like public speaking or that's what you want to be. Maybe a public speaker. Talk to me, spirit. What else you need to know? Yeah, that could be what you want to be. Yeah, somebody say, man, I'm the co-creator of my life. Because you have to understand that what you're doing is you're co-creating your, your life through your words and your actions. Yeah, I feel like you're a generous person, too. You're a giving person, man. You're a giving. I don't know why I heard, like, giver of life. You know what I'm saying? Like, you sharing your life to everybody. I feel like this is, like, your valuableness. And you know this. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, your gifts, you know? Like, you, somebody is shedding light, man. Like, you speaking on something. You, you telling it like it is. Yeah. I feel like you feel like whoever I'm talking to, man, you found your treasure. Like, you found out who you are, man, and you living in it. Yeah, like, I ain't gonna lie. I told you, whoever I'm talking to, man, like, you giving knowledge. You out here dropping jewels on somebody like, man, whoever you are, man, it's like you passionate about this awakening you going through, man. You standing in your strength and you shared knowledge. It's like, man, I found out who I am. I found out what I'm supposed to do, man. And you out here standing in that power, giving light, speaking words, man. That's exactly what you're doing. Yeah, I told, man, whoever you are, man, it's like you challenging yourself at this time, man. You know, you failed, but it's like you got back up. You went down too long. Whoever I'm talking to, you failed for a minute, but you went down too long, man. Talk to me, Spirit. I want to know what we need to know about this situation. Now, let's dig into this, into the intuitive care, man. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. Yeah, let's get to it. <clears throat> let's get to it, Spirit. Yeah. You are your words, man. We have to know this. Somebody speaking right now. Talk to me, Spirit. What we need to know. Somebody is speaking or you meant to speak. Validate this, uh, your, your, uh, your words. You are your words. Yeah, I feel like, man, somebody, man, it's so, this is something you want to be like. Bro, somebody is determined to do something at all costs, man. You feel me? This is something, bro, you not, you not letting go of this. That's big fact. And it could be that like you seen something
from a different perspective. Like, I don't know if uh, spirit has put me in a mass state of like transmute. Whoever I'm talking to is like you took some type of uh, negative energy and you transmuted that. Okay? And you turned that into something positive. And it's like, man, you ain't, you ain't, uh, you know, letting it go. I feel like, to be honest, I do feel like somebody was trying to like unalive you. And you started to speak on that. You were speaking some type of truth, man. You could have even went to speaking scripture about something, man. You could have went and got a platform. Like, you could have went on your platform, even if you don't have, like, a major platform. Like, it's something that you did that was sparked from these people attacking you. Yeah. Somebody say, I was activated through my attacks. You have to understand, majority of the time when you do step into your purpose, it's through the trauma that you went through. Yeah. Now what you're doing is you're healing uh, other people with your testimony. Yeah, somebody say I'm healing with my testimony. Talk to me, spirit. Because whoever you are, you healing with your testimony. I'm getting that from this. Talk to me, spirit. You out here speaking your truth. You like a scholar at this shit. Whoever I'm talking to, man, you a scholar. I'm talking about you probably, right? I'm, I'm getting whoever you are, man. It's like sometimes you even prepare for these speeches. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, whoever this is, man, I feel like somebody was like in a real energy of like being greedy, being like, uh, like, or somebody could have probably wanted to put you in this energy of like, just where you was like dependent on others to where you would like, you didn't have like a stable mindset as well. You know what I'm saying? And to the point of where it's like, uh, you was just down, man. You was taking like a lot of material losses. This is what somebody wanted to do to you, man. I feel like they didn't want you to experience love as well. Talk to me, Spirit. What else we need to know? Talk to me, Spirit. You, I feel like whoever you are, you talking about this. This is what you like. This is the energy that you're giving out, Spirit, one at a time, please. Clarify this. Yeah, but I feel like whoever you are, man, it's like... Bro, you, you gifted at this. Like, you really doing your thing. I feel like uh, it's going on with some, with some type of legal issues, y'all. This always comes out, man. This always comes out, man. I feel like it's something going on. We're going to dig into the legal issues, man. Yeah, I feel like, man, this was like somebody didn't want you to ascend. Like, and when we talk about ascension, it doesn't mean like, you know, uh, it, just, it just means to ascend, to excel in anything that you're doing. Somebody didn't want you to extend to a sin, okay? Talk to me, spirit. Somebody didn't want you to grow is what I'm really getting, bro. They wanted you to be down and out. They wanted you to lose out on financial opportunities, man. And I don't know if there's something that's going on in court. And I ain't gonna lie, since this legal court I came out, this could even be like, uh, like whoever this person is now, I'm telling you, spirit is pushing me to this area. This could be something that's like going on in court, y'all. I'm getting like lawyer too, y'all. Lawyer vibe, look. Spirit put me on that. Yeah, somebody is speaking about something. And I do feel like, you know, it, it could be some type of documents. You could even be speaking about this. But I feel like it's something that's going on with court. Spirit be pulling me to this, man. Yeah. And I do feel like this is somebody who, like, wanted to win at all costs, man. You feel me? Now they got to let go of something. Now they got to let go of something. And I do feel like this is somebody who's very dependent. Somebody who got to let go if they lost some type of case, y'all. Look. This person lost some type of case in court. And see, here's the thing. They, they, didn't, they didn't want you to ascend when it comes to this money. They don't want you to receive this money. They want you to lose out on, on something that's going to help you grow and prosper. Yeah. You could be talking about this too. And, and all of that I said, you could be talking about that. You could be talking about all you went through about this case that's happening. Talk to me, spirit. And these people know that they lost, somebody lost a case, y'all. Talk to me. What do we need to know? Yeah, I feel like this is somebody, man, who's going through some type of like financial instability because of this. Like they not straight because of this case that they lost, y'all. Talk to me, Spirit. Can we clarify this? I want to know what is it? What is this issue that was going on in the courtroom, man? That was, that was I told y'all, man, these people lost some type of issue. This reading came out yesterday. 
And I do feel like you have to understand that your words are very powerful. With your tongue, you speak life and death. Somebody say, I speak life and death with my tongue. See, I like to drop little jewels like that because I want you to start to understand to the point of where you get more into speaking positivity over your life. I want you to understand how powerful your words are. When you speak your truth, you speaking life into your truth, into a situation that could have been dead had you not spoke on it. Yeah, so you telling the universe, hey, these people F me over, man. You see what I'm saying? This is what you telling the universe, and I want what's mine. Or you know what I'm saying? They going to fall. They going to look, and you're speaking into, into existence. And this is something you have the authority, especially as a chosen one, to call justice through your words. Talk to me, Spirit. What do we need to know about this legal issue in the reverse? Yeah. What do we need to know about this? There's something that's going on in this court, man. Yeah, I feel like somebody, man, I told y'all, look, somebody committed some type of fraud, okay? Somebody committed some type of fraud. I apologize if y'all couldn't see that the right way, man. Let me see. Somebody committed some type of fraud, though, y'all. That's big facts. Give me a second. Somebody committed some type of fraud, y'all, in this courtroom, okay? And it was for some type of money. This is somebody who was, like, holding on to something of yours. They wanted to hold on to something of yours, so they committed some type of fraud, y'all. Yeah, this is somebody, like, who was very, very greedy. Somebody that's very stingy, you know? This is a person that's, like, very possessive. They was, And, like, to the point of where they was very possessive over this as well. I feel like they got to walk away from this. They got to walk away from this, y'all. This person is sad. It could be multiple people. They got to walk away from this as well, though. But I'm feeling like this is an older lady, bro. She really sad. She could have, like, gray hair as well. Whoever this person is, they sad that they got to walk away from this, man. Okay? Uh, they put a lot of hard work into this. They put a lot of hard work. And I'm getting like, and I ain't going to cap. Whoever this person is, when I say they put a lot of hard work in this, this somebody who went to a practitioner and everything. Or they, look. That was, that was validation. Somebody went to a practitioner when it comes to this, y'all. And not only that, uh, somebody also, like, you know, they could have possibly been doing dials on you, uh, they self. They could have, like, multiple dials on you that they had done. Okay? This person could have been doing them themselves. Because I am getting that this person, you know, they know a little something. They was very passionate about it, too, y'all. That's big facts. That's big facts. Somebody was very passionate about to it. I mean about it. Yeah, this is a six of wands. Somebody wanted to be to make sure that they was victorious in this. They did anything that they could, bro, because they committed some type of fraud. They sad as hell. I told y'all, whoever this person is, man, now they going through something because they losing this money. Okay. And they and they they could possibly be going to jail, man. This person got to give you this now, man. Like, this person really got to give you this. Because to be honest, man, I do feel like, bro, like, you are being a light as well. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you shedding your light from your experiences that's going on. At the same time, you manifesting this reality about somebody that tried to steal from you. You see what I'm saying? <clears throat> this is like, yo, give, you giving your gift to the world. You giving your light to the world by doing this, you feel me? <clears throat> and I feel like this has caused something to transpire, y'all, to the point of where, like, the universe, your spiritual team started to step in and put things at a place to where these people got to give this to you right now, yo. Look, because it's like, look at this. I want y'all to picture, man. Look, she's giving, like, it's like all of a sudden this person is giving to the person that's speaking about this. This could be a lawyer as well that's in court or something like this that's speaking on your behalf or that's speaking about, you know. But at the same time, like, you know, and we have to be we have to be real here too, y'all. When like court cases is going on behind the back, man, I don't I don't understand how if you alive, these people should know something about that already. You see what I'm saying? Like they should be able to find you, how to reach out to you. Like, all this is going on behind the scenes. We have to ask ourselves, how is this going on behind the scenes yet you have not been reached out to? That get deep, man. When you act like when you think about it like that, 
come on, we know how the court system is set up, man. What's blocking you? Ain't, ain't nothing blocking nobody. Talk to me, Spirit. Somebody got to give you something, though, man. It's something going on. Talk to me, Spirit. Somebody got to give you something. Yeah, whoever this person is, man. They, I, I'm telling you, bro, they ain't, too, they ain't too happy about it. Talk to me, Spirit. Let's see what, what, what you've been doing. Can you clarify this generosity card for a spirit? Yeah, you've been talking about something. You've been speaking your truth, though. Talk to me, spirit. You've been speaking some type of truth. Yeah, this, this is like, I'm talking about, bro, these people got to surrender something. These people have to surrender something, man. Like, this is the only way I feel like they feel like they're going to be able to get off of the hook or something, too, man. Because they caught up. I feel like this person feels like the only way to get off of the hook is to give you something. They being forced to like have to see things from a different perspective as well. And look, I'm telling y'all, this heavy like father energy, y'all. This is somebody who was like very neglectful. I feel like this is a father who wanted to be like very wealthy as well, but it, it, it's not panning out for him. This is someone who's very controlling. I feel like this father was a shot caller, y'all. Queen of swords, y'all. This father took some type of action towards you. Okay. I don't know. I feel like somebody like it's like a cat mouse game here. Like, you know, somebody took something from you. I know this father took something from you with this one. I don't know why spirit want me to pull at that deck, y'all. Spirit want me to pull at that deck. Uh something about the night of look, this person uh tried to steal like some type of opportunity from you. When it comes to like something that you're doing that's growing or something that was like small that was supposed to grow for you, they were trying to stop some type of harvest from coming in for you. Yeah, this is someone who was like very, very greedy, y'all. This is a father that's very, very greedy. And look, I wasn't even supposed to be playing with this day. I was supposed to went on back over the other day. Yeah, this is somebody that's very, very greedy, y'all. But since we're in the energy of it, we're going to go ahead and from it yeah i do feel like like this is somebody who was plotting against you with several other people y'all yeah they could have been like they, they was plotting against you yo I, I i see like if this person is trying to still plot against you the people it's some people that's getting bored and getting irritated with it okay this is like an older woman like i said this is a woman y'all Could be kind of like short, light-skinned, like formally dressed. You feel me? Uh, and it's like, I want to say, I see three dudes. It's another woman involved. It, 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 this is like a group, a group of people, y'all. You feel me? Yeah, I feel like, yeah, like this, this is a group, gritty group of people, man, who trying to scheme for some type of wealth. You feel me? We gonna dig in it from the opposite way with this. Cause like I say, this group of people is plotting on you, man. They plotting on you. I want to know what we need to know about this father, though, spirit. Talk to me, spirit. Clarify this, this emperor card. Yeah, but spirit telling me to pull from this deck, too, y'all. Somebody say, this, this, this is a trash, y'all. Whoever this person is, they a clown, spirit say. They like trash. You know? Talk to me, spirit. There's somebody who a straight clown wearing a mask in your life. Yeah, if you see through it, say I see through it though. Cause see, it's over with with us being blind to things. It's right in our face. Like this is the awakening that you went through. Yeah, this is look. I feel like it's a it's a stepmother involved, like too, y'all. Cause the, the look, I'm telling you, man, I cannot make it up. It's a stepmother or a mother that's very neglectful or a baby mother. That is working with some type of father or somebody that that's supposed to own like some type of business or something. Talk to me, spirit. What else we need to know? Or they could be like this is giving me like heavy father, like you know somebody who uh abuses their authority. This person could even be like a like this could even be like a dirty cop, y'all. I'm gonna keep it real. This could be a father that has some type of tad to like some type of dirty cop. This could be like a dirty uh. This could be a dirty, like, politician, you know, a military agent. Like, I'm telling y'all, this is somebody who, and I feel like I said, this is giving me heavy, like, military vibes. Whoever this person is, man, this is somebody that's, like, lost some type of, like, uh, status, some type of authority 
in here for doing some type of like shiesty work. You know what I'm saying? They, this is somebody who was doing like, they were scheming, cannab, and they was doing illegal activity behind the scene. Well, they was just being like shiesty. Okay? Yeah. I feel like this person like was traveling towards you, man. This person, whoever this person is, they, they, they tried to travel towards you with the Six of Swords, man. I just clear yeah, somebody who wanted to like manipulate you emotionally. This, no, whoever this person was, this is a cold-hearted person, okay? And I am getting like five energy with the King of Cups. This is somebody who's very cold-hearted, somebody who's not very rooted in their emotions, not very connected, not giving. This is somebody who likes stingy too, y'all. Uh-huh. Uh, they're trying to relieve themselves of like some type of struggle that they're going through. This person is like in the Five of Pentacles energy and they're trying to come up out of that. They're on the edge of being poor. They're suffering. They're going through things, probably like health issues, so on and so forth as well. You feel me? And, and you know, now they're coming to you for some type of hope that you can um, take them out of the, the that you will, you know, take them out of the energy of like feeling dizzy, feeling, you know, feeling beat the fuck up. There's <laughs> so many words, man. This wounded energy, okay? And I do feel like they did, it was just a bad judgment call that they call, y'all. Like, they, I'm telling you, whatever this person did, and you know, I want y'all to understand when we digging in this and certain cards hit out, bro, spirit is telling me to emphasize certain situations. So talking about this card, this is a judgment card, y'all, in the reverse, okay? I feel like whoever this person was, man, like when I first started doing my readings, the spirit was like grooming me on what certain cards meant and, you know, giving me my images and things like that. Look, this card meant that somebody was basically uh, conjuring, okay? So I do feel like this baby mother was working with this father or this uh, mother uh, was working with the father, you know, whatever. Put it where it fit, okay? Some type of law enforcement agency is probably politicking in some way, form or fashion. It's something going on around here, y'all, okay? See, this person was messing with somebody, maybe a baby father or, you know, put it where it fit. This person was doing some type of shiesty work to come at you. You feel me? Whoever this person was, they were very cold-hearted towards you. And now uh, they were they trying to come towards you because they're trying to basically um, get out of the cold. They're trying to relieve themselves of this uh, karma or whatever it is that they're going through that's put them into the position of possibly being homeless. They need some type of relief from that. And so they feel like coming towards you will give them some type of fulfillment in terms of like just relieving them from that energy of, of, of being you know, beat up, wounded. And this is all because of a, a wrong judgment call that they made. I do feel like they, they was doing something that uh, ended up pushing them back, pushing some shit back to them. Let's just say it like that. Some type of energy came out, okay? Whole time, you finding yourself. You finding yourself. You see what I'm saying? That's big facts. The whole time, you find yourself. Because look, you speaking your truth right here. You being the light that you are. You understanding your words, how powerful they are. You speaking things into existence. You know, this is the whole point I'm trying to make to you right now. You found yourself. This is why they coming for you so hard extra. Because now, look, by you doing that, you cause this, this situation to take place in, in the courtroom. <laughs> You call this, you call that. Talk to me, Spirit. What do we need to know about this uh, treasure? <laughs> At the same time, I feel like they got to give you some type of treasure. Talk to me, Spirit. What else do we need to know? Yeah, I told you. This is like, bro, when it comes to this, this is a compromised family. A family that's been compromised. Like some type of like disconnection between a family. A family fallout. This is family, though. So I feel like whoever this person is, man... This is a it's a conflict in the family, yeah. Some secrets that was going on, y'all, about a secret that this family kept about some type of money that was treasure. <laughs> yeah. This family could even be like a secret society as well, y'all. Part of some type of secret society. Mm-hmm. I feel like this family, look, they want to come towards you. They want to come towards you. Somebody want to travel towards you, talk to you, Spirit. What do we need to know? And give you something. Look, men lie, women lie, Spirit don't lie. Somebody say, come on with it in the comment section. Because we ready for it. We tired of talking about whoever this person is, man, they want to come towards you right now and give you something. You think, I can't make this up, man. 
I can't make this up. Look, even either they want to ask you for something, or they want to come towards you in the car and give you something. This is somebody that's been compromised in the family, right? It's causing some type of family conflict. Yeah, this this person don't want to be a hater no more. <laughs> this person don't want to hate no more. Or this person could be coming to you with the energy of acting like they not a hater. You feel what I'm saying? But look, with the Six of Wands uh, coming out, this could be somebody that uh, wants to like stop, like cause you. Like this, this is somebody that want to come in, in the reverse especially, this is somebody that want to come in and put you in a position to where you don't gain some type of victory nor success, okay? So they're going to come in with this energy. Like, they could be even asking you for something. Or they could be giving you something, okay? Yeah. I feel like, bro, this is something, like, that they got paid for. Yeah. This is somebody giving generous, like, generous energy. Come on, Spirit. What do we need to know about this Six of Pentacles, man? I want to know now. Matter of fact, tell me what we need to know about this uh this Queen of Pentacles. Cause somebody want to come in like and get you something, or maybe ask you for something. Somebody want to come in, maybe give you something, or ask you for something. Yeah, I feel like this is somebody, man, who. I feel like this is somebody who wants to come in. This is going to be an argument, y'all. This is somebody who really want to come in and create some type of argument with you. I do see you, like, being on guard about this person, man. Talk to you, Spirit. Yeah, uh, this is somebody who wants to cause, like, some type of, like, and I do feel like, uh, like, I feel like, it, look, whoever this person is, man, they want to come in. This somebody who, like, want to, they want to, it's going to be like an argument that's going to take off with this person. I feel like they got other people watching you as well. You know what I'm saying? This somebody, like, who, I feel like they want to put you in, like, the nan nana sword energy to the point of where you just, like, uh, kind of afraid, terrified, you know what I'm saying? Worried, you know? They want to put you in that energy, Okay. I'm getting, like, big offer you up energy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want y'all to understand, we are dealing with, like, evil people. Whether y'all want to believe it or not, this stuff ain't just happening on, on no television show. This is what's going on in real life, and it's being depicted back to you. I mean, out, like, on, on television. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, I do, like, what I tell y'all, man, and it's all about, like, this person is coming up with some type of idea or something that they can, you know, you see, this is potion, y'all. I want y'all to understand that. This person could be whipping something up. They could even be putting you in their cauldron. Talk to me, friend. What do we need to know about this? They could even be putting you in their cauldron. Like, for those of you who don't know what all of these things is, man, like, this is a dark practitioner, yeah. Look, all because they want to lose something and because of a decision that was made in court. Yeah. I feel like they wanted, like, this court system to, like, I told y'all what I was telling y'all. I can't, I, we can't get past this. They wanted these people uh want this want you to lose whatever's going on in the courtroom, but see, they did this. Now they gotta come give you this shit. They did this. This ain't nothing you did. <laughs> Somebody say you did this, man. <laughs> I ain't do this. You ain't know nothing was going on behind the scenes, bro. You ain't know it was a possibility that somebody could have left you like some type of trust. You ain't know somebody could have left you in your dad's insurance or nothing like that. You see what I'm saying? You ain't know you was on nobody's life insurance policy. They left you some type of trust fund. You ain't know that. Whole time you getting backstabbed like, bro, they trying to get you out the way before you find out. You feel me? Talk to me, spirit. What we need to know about this? I, I feel like you gained some type of knowledge about this. You gained some type of knowledge about this. And you started sharing that knowledge with people and started speaking things into uh, fruition. Talk to me, Spirit. What do we need to know about this knowledge? Yeah, you was very passionate about giving this knowledge as well. Like, out. I mean, I feel like you was out here, like, warning other people with a tall tale saying that they need to be looking for when it comes to, like, you know, somebody trying to pull a stunt like this. 
Yeah, you know, you gain knowledge that these people was being greedy. Okay? I do feel like uh, this caused like some type of argument amongst this crew when you started to like, you know, uh, speak some type of knowledge about this man because they started to lose out on some type of like something that they all was investing. I feel like this was like a group of people that was invested in that they was going to split this money up. But when you start speaking about how greedy they were and what it is that you, uh, you know, what it is that you found out about these people, they started to lose their investments. They started to become more reckless in what it is that they was doing, like in this in this dark magic, y'all. Okay, so they started to put more magic into it, trying to harm you more and more and more because you speaking the truth. Now they're trying to shut you up. You see what I'm saying? And they was still trying to like gain like some type of new opportunity. So look, and I feel like, look, they could have came in and offered you something, y'all. You feel me? But whoever this person is, man, this is somebody who's trying to uh, come in. And somebody came in as a love offer. Somebody came in like trying to love you. And I feel like uh, whoever this person was, like, yeah, this this is a person that was looking for some, some type of like new opportunity, bro. But I, ooh, the most I shut it down. The most I shut it down. Somebody say, won't he do it? Because I want you to understand your spiritual team and the most I see everything that you can't see. The most I shut it down. The most I say, hell no, I ain't getting you no more opportunities, man. The cycle has ended. Somebody drop it in the comment section. Say the cycle has ended because the trauma that you've been through with all of this, man, it's ended, man. Whoever this was that was coming in to try to get down you the most high, bro, say the cycle has ended. It be things, bro, that I want y'all to understand. Like, you couldn't have uh, gotten over. You couldn't have made it through had you not, uh, had the most high not stepped in. Huh? Somebody say, I never could have made it without you. Because I want you to understand, bro, you could have never made it without the most high. Like, I feel like that sometimes in my life, y'all. Like, ain't no way I could have made it through had I not had my spiritual team. Had I not had the ancestors. Had I not had the most high. Ain't no way I could have made it through everything this big, went, that I went through. I know there's some of y'all out there that feel the same way, man. Talk to me, spirit. What do we need to know about this uh, most high uh, card in the reverse? What the most high shut down? Because somebody was trying to come in. I'll offer you a little offer. Talk to me, spirit. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, shut down the trouble. This person was trying to come in and start all type of trouble in your life. I'm talking about, bro, don't nobody be more clear than spirit. <laughs> I'm talking about this person, but most I said, man, I'm shutting that down. Ain't no more trouble in this life. Ain't no more coming in causing mental interrays in their, uh, mis mental, like, uh, dis disarrays in their life. Ain't none of that happening on. Uh, coming against their finances. None of it. Yeah. I can't, look, man, look, they were trying to come for your finances. The trouble, somebody was trying to create trouble with your finances. Somebody was continuously, like, it's almost as if, like, they was making wishes, man. This could have been somebody, like, who was really, like, tapping into, like, some type of, like, genie magic, y'all. On the real, y'all. I can't lie. Look, and that, this, this, I don't know where this came from, but somebody was trying to wage, like, a war on you. Somebody was waging a war on you, yo. Yeah, they wanted you to lose out on this inheritance, y'all. Yeah. And I'm telling you, bro, I feel like they paid somebody for this. They paid somebody to come in and get you something like with the page of wands to offer you something to cause you to lose out on this inheritance, man. Yeah, to put you in a position the way you would be lazy and things like that. Like, you have to understand, I want y'all to know, like, when we get into all of this, man, when we talk about people projecting energy towards you and things like that, they attack your energy first and foremost because they don't want you to, like, be vibrating at a high enough rate to where whatever it is they doing can't take root. Okay, that's what they doing. They trying to break you down to the point of what whatever it is that they're doing cannot take root. I mean, we will be able to take root because if you vibrate high and you up and you cheering your energy too good, that's why you think they attack you to bring you down to the point of where your energy is low. You see what I'm saying? To make you stressed, to make you afraid because those are all lower, lower vibrational energies. Okay, that will allow whatever it is that they shooting at you. To like land, okay? That's big facts. That's why they put them agents around you all the time. What else we need to know about this situation, Spirit? Because I do want to know. It was something else that I did want to know. I know somebody's coming in. Yeah, they got real reckless, y'all. I want to know. No, that's, that's about it. These people got real reckless, y'all. And I feel like they was pushing you around, y'all. They was pushing you around because you were speaking some type of truth. You giving this type of knowledge. And whoever I'm talking to, you said not today, man. You started to challenge the situation, y'all. You said, I'm tired. 
Somebody say, I'm tired, man. You start to push back. <laughs> if you push back, say, I push back in the comment section. Say, I push back. Because whoever you are, man, you started to push back. Talk to me, Spirit. What we need to know about this uh, exhausted car, about this pushing back. Yeah, I feel like somebody was, like, pushing you down, man. Like, after you start speaking this knowledge about what you was knowing, speaking your truth, then you speaking the knowledge. Because you have to understand, as a collective, y'all, we all going through the same thing. We just on different timelines. Yeah. I told you, man, this is somebody who was trying to come in and create all type of trouble, y'all. You feel me? I feel like somebody could have even, when you start to push back, you had this person that was supposed to come in and create trouble in your life. They was running in the opposite direction, going back and reporting this. They was going back and reporting this. They were supposed to have been reporting about the, the, the stress you was going in. Yeah, this somebody who was very obsessed with you, man. Who was, look, and this person became, whoever it is that they ran back and was telling to, man, telling this to, this somebody, man, who was like, uh, very like, pissed when they came and told him. This person was upset. This could be somebody of a lighter skin, man. They could have like, I want to say, this could be somebody with like blue eyes as well, y'all. A lighter complexion, possibility that they could be Caucasian, make it fit. But it could be that they a lighter co uh, complexion, whoever this person is as well. They could have a lighter set of eyes. This could be a male person that has like a shadowy like beard, like a light beard, okay? Um, I feel like this is somebody who like very obsessed with you and he became pissed off at the fact that you started giving them trouble. You started standing up for yourself talking, and you know, this is what this person, this person became very mad. Talk to me, Spirit. What we need to know about this? Yeah, I feel like it's something about like a divine partner or something, y'all. This somebody who was like a false person. You know what I'm saying? This could have been somebody that you thought that was your homie, that was cool with you. You know what I'm saying? But this was like a false person, man. And uh, I feel like they wanted to offer, I like, I'm telling you, y'all, somebody... Somebody wanted to like offer up some type of like divine partnership. That's what I'm feeling like. That's what I'm feeling like, bro. And I don't know if like you had a spouse that you could have been going through. Yeah, but I feel like you overcame something. You overcame something. Whoever I'm talking to, man, like you learning your lesson from this situation and you overcame the situation. Like you was wounded as hell. You on guard right now, though. You on guard right now. Like, this, I'm talking about, you got somebody, bro, that's really obsessed with you. This could be like a lighter person. I don't know why I heard red, y'all. I just heard red. <laughs> this person's name could be red. <laughs> Talk to me, Spirit. What do we need to know about that? And look, I'm going to tell y'all, Spirit ain't going to come through and just and plant that for no reason. I heard red. You feel me? Uh, this is somebody... That could be red in complexion, somebody with the nickname red. You feel me? Whoever this person was, man, I feel like this is somebody who was like, they sitting on some type of money, bro. I heard red. This could be somebody. I want y'all to make numbers look. You see how they came back out, y'all? Look, this is what I want y'all to understand, too. Uh, that was validation. But whoever this person is, this could be somebody that's lighter in complexion. This is somebody that's lighter. They have a shadowy beard, y'all. They have a different color eyes. Their name could possibly be red because Spirit said red. Talk to me, Spirit. What else do we need to know about this? Come on. I feel like somebody's trying to sit on some type of... They're trying to sit on some. Talk to me, Spirit. Yeah. Somebody... I feel like somebody paid somebody to try to, like, uh, get you to, like disconnect from your intuition you know if they did pay somebody to put something in like a couple of yours it was all about getting you to disconnect from some type of intuition that you got you know because whoever you are you're very intuitive you have to understand like as a chosen one like you go through the trauma to get to where you at so that you will be uh start to be able to tap into your abilities more you know that's how you get your gifts that's how you activate through the trauma somebody say through my trauma i activated Cause that's what that's what happened. Now you now you more on point. Now you sensitive. Like you know how to like you have to say as an empath. Okay, somebody that's very sensitive to energy. When you go through a situation like this, you start to trust your energy more, your intuition more. You see what I'm saying? The energy of the situation, the energy of the room. You start to tap more into the spirit of discernment to the point of where you can start to read energy. I go in this room, I read the energy. The energy is like a chaotic energy that makes me frantic, anxious, or whatever the case may be. It's best for me to get out of here. That's you at the beginning stages of tapping into your gift, and that's the universe 
helping you with that gift because whether you believe it or not, your gift is your intuition. Somebody say my gift is my intuition, especially as an empath. Especially as an empath. My gift is my intuition. So the universe is saying, hey, I got these motherfuckers whooping your ass right now, but it's not to fully pull you down. Okay? It's so that you will start to tap and trust into your abilities more. Okay? The, your, the ability that you have to sense danger. To sense when things are uneasy. To sense when you leave. You see what I'm saying? This is an ability. Yeah. Somebody say, I get, I'm activated. This time you gotta wake up and realize these type of things. Talk to me, spirit. What else we need to know about this uh this situation, man? What what would we need to know about this this obsessed person, man? Somebody running back, bro. This person, whoever this person is, they pissed off, bro, that you tapping in. Yeah, I feel like this person wanna come in and like offer you something, bro. This person could want to come in and, and offer you like, cause whoever you are, like you, somebody that's very intuitive, though. I feel like you're going to figure this out, but this person do want to come in and offer you something. I feel like this person going to want to, like, take you out. This person might come in and try to offer to take you out, man. Whoever this person is, man, uh, like, I feel like they want to cause some type of disagreement with you. Well, I do feel like they working with some type of, like, click. They have some type of disagreement. This person could, like, might, and I feel like this person might want to uh, offer you, like, Take to take you out to drink or something. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, uh, I feel like they're gonna come in and say, Man, it's time to celebrate. You feel me? You've been working hard. Whoever you are, somebody gonna come in and say, Man, you've been working hard. It's time to celebrate. Let's go out and have some drinks. Relieve yourself for this, man. You've been going through. I feel like this is what they're gonna come in with the storyline they're gonna try to come in with. I can guarantee it. Beware of somebody. Coming in, offering you a drink to come drink with you, uh, to, to to go out and drink, cause you know, I feel like whoever I'm talking to, you are hard work. It's something that you're doing, you speaking on, you challenging people back with your words, even if it's a platform. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, somebody uh wanna, well, this is somebody who's gonna be like very dishonest, and somebody who wants to cause like some type of chaos in your life. Okay, that's big fact. This is somebody who wants to deceive you. They want to deceive you by bringing you out. And, and and I feel like making you uh try to make you feel comfortable or try to put you in the energy of just uh to the point of where you would trust them enough where they could put some have some set up. Ain't no telling, y'all. Like the plot hole, it be getting real deep, y'all. What do we need to know about this divine per partner in the reverse? Talk to you, Spirit. This could be like somebody that was your literal partner that you thought that was a literal partner, y'all. Cause I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting heavy. Like, literal partner, y'all. I'm getting heavy that. Whoever this person is, man, I don't know if they, like, working with some type of law enforcement official or if this is somebody, like, you speaking some type of truth about, yo. But whoever this is, they took some type of action towards you. I'm getting, like, I ain't gonna lie. I'm getting, like, big baby father or something like that. Ba ba even baby mother. But it's, if this is the baby mother, she's, like, in her masculine energy. She could have took some type of action towards you or, you know, this, you speaking some type of truth or like, I'm telling y'all some type of, somebody is working with some type of, like, it could, it could vary for either y'all, the queen of cuss, man. I feel like this person is somebody that's, yeah, they, they, they plotting on trying to come up with something to disconnect you from your, like, your, uh, your intuition. Okay. I feel like this person is like cooking up something with some type of like recipe. This is what they this is what they plan and don't take action to it. To disconnect you from your uh, you know. And they working with a couple people. Yeah, this somebody who wanna this somebody who wanna put you to rest, man. They look backstab. You see what's going on? They trying to like, this is a damn whoever this partner is, bro. This somebody like who really backstabs you. Yeah, and, and and this somebody who like, this somebody from your past. Somebody from your childhood as well. If you if you fucking with somebody from your past and from your childhood, and then you got a baby bound, this could be a baby mother, a baby father, whatever the case may be. Um, this person was paid to come in to backstab you, to do something that like you know to snake you. Or they coming up, they've been coming up with some type of stew themselves that they cooking up to try to you know put something in your like to offer you something. Come on, spirit, spirit say all these gotta be given. Yeah, this is somebody like with the um 
I feel like uh, this person is doing this right now. This is something that they're doing right now, y'all. But I feel like it, it, it's, it's going to backfire on them, y'all. I feel like they, what they want to do is they want to put you in the energy of like being uh, procrastinated uh, to procrastinate to basically like cause you to have like a lack of energy and things like that. They want to really, really slow you down because they feel like this is going to cause like an imbalance to your finances. Okay. Yeah, they using moon magic. They working with the cycles of the moon as well. Whoever this person is to cause like some type of tower in your life. They could even, they could even be like sending some type of like chaos, you know, and you have to understand when we get into a chaos, that is a tower. That's how your life can fall apart because somebody sunk that energy towards you. Now you losing everything. Now your money is fucked up. Now you ain't mentally stable and things like that. You arguing and fighting with people. I'm talking about everybody walking out your life, not just your spouse, your friends. You see what I'm saying? Your mother, your sister, you're falling out with everybody. Okay? That's chaos magic. And somebody is working with the cycles of the moon to uh to get that done. I feel like this is somebody, man, who, and look, they could be suffering some type of consequences for this. Okay? I feel like they 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 wanna look. Whoever this person is, they probably want to come in and be honest about this now, too. But see, like that's I feel like that's very far fetched. I don't see nobody coming in and, and being honest about putting you through all of this bullshit. Huh? Unless it's ha unless it has to be done. Unless it has to be done because you're gonna find out about it anyway and they just wanna be the first to tell you. And that's very rare, y'all. Some people will go all the way to jail. <laughs> Some people will go all the way to jail, y'all, before they uh before they tell you. I hear find out because I'll be in jail. She'll find out because I'll be in jail. But yeah, y'all, if this resonated with you in any way, form, or fashion, do me the favor of pounding that like button up. Okay? Also, if you can. Do not hesitate to donate to the channel. All donations will go back to the growth of the channel. And you can do so by leaving super stickers, man. We're trying to get up there and we're trying to, you know, grow this channel and, you know, offer new things, y'all. Okay? Uh, also, if you need a read, man, go down to my description box, man. Book a read by leaving your name, your uh, your number, and the best time to reach out to you in the, um, in the, uh, in my email. Also, don't forget to get that PayPal set up, man. Have, have your PayPal ready. Have your PayPal ready, because like I said, Cash App is messing up, y'all. So if you want your personal reading because anything resonated with you, you got to have that ready so that we can go forward and just, you know, we don't have to stall, all right? But with that being said, man, look, I want to thank my spiritual team for coming through and dropping the jewels that they drop on a day-to-day -day basis. And, uh, you know, I ask that the most High continuously blesses them with what for, with the information and the, and the energy that they need to do it. And um, I want to leave y'all as I came. I want you guys to always... Always be aware, because to be aware is to be alive. And as always, peace, family. Peace, meaning positive energy. Always creates elevation. I say.